Some states with connections to Mr. Bush, such as Texas and Maine, also closed their government offices. Most noticeable for most Americans will be the closing of the United States Postal Service. There will be no regular mail delivered on Wednesday. Some mail operations will continue to avoid disruptions to deliveries later in the week, the Postal Service said. Both the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ Stock Exchange closed. The Supreme Court was also closed, as were federal courthouses around the country and Social Security offices nationwide. The Senate and House postponed or canceled votes to accommodate the funeral, too. Some federal parks will be closed or have limited service, the National Park Service said, such as Acadia National Park in Maine. Mount Rainier National Park outside Seattle is open but waiving entrance fees, as is Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. Two popular destinations in New York, the Statue of Liberty National Monument and Ellis Island, remained open, and park rangers there are encouraging people to think of Mr. Bush during their visits. We hope our visitors can find a quiet moment to reflect on the life of public service embodied by the 41st President of the United States, officials wrote on the Statue of Liberty's website. Sign up for the Morning Briefing newsletter for a look at what you need to know to begin your day. The History it is common for presidents to mark the deaths of their predecessors with such proclamations. President Andrew Johnson declared a day of mourning in 1865 for Abraham Lincoln. President Richard Nixon declared one for former President Harry S. Truman in 1972, and President Bill Clinton declared one for Mr. Nixon in 1994. President George W. Bush, Mr. Bush's son, declared two while in office, one for former President Ronald Reagan and another for former President Gerald Ford. <laughs> 